Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and this is a demo of Tile Mapper, just so I can play around and uh, show you guys. Alrighty, let's say demo, and let's call the map Overworld. Let's see, here we set the height and width of tiles, 25 by 25. And now the actual cell width. This is important when you um, import things. So I'm just going to do a very low 16 by 16 tile. Here we go. And there's our overworld. Now, it has very nice features where we can just import a bitmap. Oh, wait. Here you go. Here's a little sprite sheet I made up from Final Fantasy. Each tile is 16 by 16. That's why I had to reset it in the beginning. If you use different styles tiles, that's fine. In fact, uh, there are actually more tools that you can use things um, very nicely. Alrighty, so let's import that file. And Tile Mapper is smart enough to give us various choices. So uh, let's do normal. Oh, that was wrong. Alright, import. Yes, 12 images, 16 by 16 centered. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Let's get some grass. And voila. We also have various paint tools, so we can just do paint bucket it and do other things. Let's just make uh, trees. Whoops. There we go. Paint the trees. Da -da 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 -da. And we can also do interesting things, like let's select the trees. I said select. Here we go. Make a selection. And let's create a brush from the active selection. And let's call it forest. Alrighty, and here's forest. Now we can paint a forest like that. Okay, and now, so this is basic normal stuff you would expect with a tile mapper. But here's something very nice, the sprite builder. Okay, we can import an image. Let's see. Let's do Final Fantasy Adventure. So here's a sprite sheet from the Game Boy game. And using this little box, Let's move this up. Here we go. The little window here is what's the box here, so we can make it uh, a proper size to get the whole image. Here we go. And bigger. We can use these arrows here. Let's see. There we go. And now we can add, increase the size the selection and create sprites on mass. And let's just only get their front faces. Alrighty, need a little bit bigger for the old guy. Wait, there we go. There we go. Do export to the active tile as a in a new category, sure. Yes. New category, let's say people. So here we have the, all the tiles. Here we have a category for people. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. We can create a mask by choosing our color. So we choose blue. There we go. Now let's export. Export as tiles in a new category. Yes. People mask. There we go. So we have that brush. Whoopsie people mask. So we can grab the people and place them this and that. But also here we do not have to be perfect squares. Well, let's see where's the big one. Uh -huh. Here we have the giant Pokemon stuff. So let's get oh this thing. Whatever it is. Okay, align the white down, and now to make it bigger. I said bigger. There we go. And probably there's hotkeys to do this from faster, but slow and steady. Okay, so let's grab this machine here. And let's export it as a tile. Yes. Tile. Blah blah blah. No 
category, fine. Did it do it? And it did it, but it's very small. Mm. Not quite what I wanted, but the idea is you're able to select things at an arbitrary size. Ah, uh, wait. Let's make this 16 by 16. Alrighty, increment reset position. Reset tile size, there we go. There we go. And no. There we go. Bigger. Export as a brush. Let's see, machine. Let's see, value centered is zero. No category, fine. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. We have the machine brush now. And it's made up of all these little tiles. <coughs> now, very robust tools to uh, create and paint your world. We can also add layers and do little animations to have uh, moving uh, images. But what also settles things is here, export XML, XML and image by categories. So, Let's export to XML and let's say no one can think of this stupid name. Exporting. There we go. And now, here we go. We have a nice XML sheet. And that is way too big. So, excluding the normal header stuff, we have Okay, people mask, no. Here we go. No, that's forest. Machine, sheesh. Okay, here's our main map, overworld. And we have our coordinates. Six, you know, for all the grass. Here's probably the girl and the sprites. X, Y, X, Y. So it's text, and therefore you're able to parse it. Well, you don't have to stick with XML, but, you know, we can clean this up and make our own file type with it. I say that because most other tile mappers they just save it in their own special format such as you know file save project as map ixxs or whatever that is ah but here's also the kicker no one can think of this stupid name it made our sprite sheet for us and it cleaned it up rather nicely so that is tile mapper so until next time I'm Tiro and have fun making games or maps. See ya! <laughs>